The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health describes carbon disulfide as a colorless liquid with an ether-like odor. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry reports that carbon disulfide evaporates at room temperature and the vapor is more than twice as heavy as air. The agency goes on to share that it easily explodes in air and also catches fire very easily. Carbon disulfide is used in many industries as a building block in organic chemistry and as an industrial solvent. NIOSH lists some examples of workers at potential risk of being exposed to carbon disulfide. The list includes factory workers who work where rubber is made or processed, workers involved in cellophane production, employees who work in factories where rayon fabric is made, and employees involved in the production of carbon tetrachloride. Workers may be harmed from exposure to carbon disulfide with a level of exposure depending upon the dose, duration, and work being done. Exposure can occur by breathing contaminated air, skin contact, or by drinking water or foods that contain it. NIOSH states that exposure can cause dizziness, poor sleep, headache, anxiety, anorexia, weight loss, and vision changes, and that it can harm the eyes, kidneys, blood, heart, liver, nerves, and skin. ATSDR reports breathing very high levels can be life-threatening because of its effects on the nervous system. The agency also says breathing low levels for long periods may result in headaches, tiredness, trouble sleeping, and slight changes in the nerves. To help protect workers, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit and NIOSH has a recommended exposure limit for carbon disulfide. These are just a few of the many things to know about carbon disulfide and potential occupational exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.